So look, how does it now increase? We start applying lengths and degree numbers. Okay, so the length MN is this length here. Okay, so this is MN. MN correlates to XY, it corresponds. So whatever length XY is, that's the length of MN. So this is three centimeters. N O, length side N O is correspondingly congruent to Y Z because then they're in the same. Oh, you can't even see. They're in the same order. So if Y Z is 11 centimeters, N O is 11 centimeters, and so uh, M O. What's the length of M O? It's the same as X Z, although this was given to you seven centimeters, but this is also seven, seven centimeters. So congruent triangles are equal. Their side lengths are equal. Their angle degrees are the same. So if they give you one, there's a partner there, a pair on the other triangle that it connects to. You just have to be able to read the order of the congruency statement and that gives you everything. It tells you how it correlates. Okay, all right, so we do the angles, which you guys were great with. You understand that little box is 90 degrees. So this is 90 degrees. So M correlates, to, whoops, you can't even see. M corresponds to X, so this is 90 degrees. What's the measure of angle N? Well, N corresponds to Y, but N and Y don't have a degree. However, you do have O and Z. So look, Z is 28 degrees. O and angle Z correspond, they're congruent. So O is 28, angle O is 28 degrees. So if all triangles add up to 180 degrees, and this is 90, and this is 28, you can very easily find that third angle by the triangle sum theorem, which we did yesterday with our interior angles, right? So what's the degree of N and Y? 62. 62, very good. Right, and so this is what we did yesterday. So this is like medium level of how it gets difficult. The way it gets more difficult is they give you a little less, um, but they start putting in algebraic expressions. That's it. That's, that's pretty much as good as it gets. Okay. Um, so less information is how it gets more difficult. All right. The bottom part, we're going to start moving into angle, 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 side, 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 angle, side. Yeah, right. Okay. Um, here, I know some of you wrote all six because you're just, you're awesome. Um, we're only going to write what they gave us because then we're going to start tomorrow. We're going to bleed into that congruency theorems. Okay. So here they gave me side AB is congruent to DE, right? So I know, and it doesn't matter where you guys wrote it, AB side, the segment is congruent to DE right? Because they both have a tick mark. That's what that tick mark means. And then if I read my arcs, one arc, one arc, so that means angle A is congruent to angle D. And if I read my double arcs, two arcs, two arcs, angle B is congruent to angle E. Right? And so what you have here is a side of corresponding congruent. This is a side. This is an angle. This is an angle statement. And so eventually we start talking about S's and A's. Right? So this one would be an example. And this is what we're going to move into tomorrow. But if you guys remember, uh, remember angle angle and angle side angle, that's what you have here. But we haven't practiced. Does it seem familiar? Some of it? No. Not too much. Yeah. Not too much. You guys all did, you all did the 90 degree girl really well though. So that's good. Oh, add the two and subtract from 180. Yeah, because all triangles are 180. Thank you. 
I'll, uh, it's still recording. I'll stop it in a second. Yeah. Yeah. Can I stop it? Are you guys looking at it? Oh, good. Okay. Thank 